So yesterday, my wife and I decided to go to Costco and do our usual run. You know, load up on food, essentials, and hopefully find some water or toilet paper because apparently people are panic buying and there's nothing on the shelves. And never in my life have I felt so much fear, so much anxiety while waiting in line to get my my cart out the checkout. And you know it's interesting you know before we get to Costco my wife's like let's just drive by and see if the social media postings are real and accurate because there's a lot of people waiting outside to get into Costco so let's just drive by and see a line let's forget it go to, go to Target I'm like okay sounds like a plan we were in a desperate need of it which is needed to load up and um, we drove by and there was no line surprisingly enough there wasn't that packed there was like a usual day at Costco we park the car, we get out, and uh, as we're making our way towards the cart, I see the one of the staff members that's passing out the carts, you know, sanitize the handles and all that, and I was like, wow, that's really cool. We get our cart, and we make our way through the mob of people that are trying to get through the entrance, um, and I feel this cart just like nudging me very lightly, but so so obvious enough that I could tell she's in a hurry. You know, it was a lady, and... I looked at my back and she had this face of just worriedness and anxiety and fear just on her face. And she was trying to get through the mob of people. And my wife and I are just distracted. You know, we're heavily distracted by the clothes, which, by the way, this came from 15 bucks, by the way. Waterproof, weatherproof. It's light. It's durable. It's great. So we're distracted by the clothes. And this lady is like lightly nudging me to get through and to move on. I'm like, okay, lady, I'll move to the side. She gets through. We also decided to go through the middle section where all the clothes is at because we just love clothes, right? And I can still see this lady just getting through the mob and she's pissed. She has this face of weariness and I'm like, what is going on? So we finally make our way. We get through the sections and we get to the waters and surprisingly enough, they were all gone. Well, almost all gone. And there was a sign right above it that said one purchase per member. I'm like right on Costco because people are just panic buying and being selfish and hoarding more than what they need. As I'm making my way towards the water and getting my water and putting it in the cart, I can see the same lady that was just mobbing through the crowd on the phone telling somebody to hurry up to get over here because they're almost out of water and they're gonna, she's going to save them one and she's loud on the phone because she's worried and, and she's just giving this person instructions of what to do and apparently she's going to like hold three cases of water for this person so I'm hearing all this I'm like wow what is going on we get our stuff we're in the cart I mean we're, we get our stuff in the cart we're on the way to the line to check out and as I'm waiting for like 10 to 15 minutes to process my my checkout um, I, I felt so much tension I felt so much worriness almost like almost like if Costco is handing out rations to people and they filled up their cart and they're just like protecting this cart as if it was their last time coming to Costco. And it almost felt like if they were just trying to get through the gatekeeper of Costco to get home, barricade themselves and just store this food because the apocalypse is happening, right? That's how it felt like. Um, guys, let's just relax. You know, in the state of fear, state of panic, nothing gets done. It just causes more hurt to people. I mean... Really, toilet paper, I mean, do you really need 72 rolls of, or 100 rolls of toilet paper for the next month or two? Look, I, I don't understand what's the reason for hoarding more than what you need, but I strongly believe that there's people, you know, that need it more than you do. And the fact that you're hoarding all this nonsense is causing more hurt for people. Look. The coronavirus is not going to affect us young people, right? It's going to affect those that are elderly and that have already health conditions. You can be a carrier and not have corona, but you can be a carrier and carry it and pass it on to someone that, that caused so much damage to, right? Be cautious. Be smart. Don't listen to social media because it's just going to hurt you. It's just going to hurt others. Right, social media blows up more than what it needs. And you know what? The media did their job. The media successfully caused fear upon people. And you know, a lot of people are misinformed. You know, uh, whatever the state is going through, whatever the world is going through with this coronavirus, 
we're making it bigger than what it is. Yes, it has killed people, and my condolences. There's a number of cases out there, but very few where we should be, like, causing this much stress, this much chaos right now. Feel encouraged that our country is moving fast towards a recovery, uh, towards a conclusion of this virus just coming to an end. You know, an hour ago, President Trump gave an address, and I felt so encouraged myself to hear that we're moving fast. I mean, you know, back in the 80s, when HIV and AIDS came out, people, it it took our country 11 years to make some sort of crazy progress with that. With the coronavirus, we're moving really fast. In a matter of months, we found so much progress with dealing with this issue, with with getting tests and, and going through procedures and getting really close to the cure. So guys, look, be mindful, be smart, and just be clean, just wash your hands. But let's just stop this whole panic buying. Let's just stop hurting other people and this act of selfishness. You know, um, there's plenty of it to go around. Um, I'm glad that these stores are causing limitations upon people buying stuff because honestly, there's others that need it more than you do. Those are my thoughts. I hope that this didn't offend you. And if it did, give me a thumbs down. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. So if I'm saying anything at all is let's just be cautious and be smart about things. Let's not make things bigger than what it needs to be. And let's just show love to one another. Don't buy more than what you need. And we'll get through this. President Trump gave uh, an address that was very encouraging. And I believe that our country will get through this really fast. Um, Guys, Let's just relax. Let's take 20 seconds before we react towards a piece of news that came out of social media. So my prayers to you are for good health, for guidance on how to react when you hear a piece of news, whether it be through some news station or social media, that you may have wisdom on how you react. We'll see you guys soon and uh, we'll get through this.